Well, hello there, Aquarius. It looks like someone new is coming in at a time where you're focused on other things. So now it's time to determine, is it worth trying to balance or to keep one over the other? Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is an Aquarius tarot reading. It's general reading. It's late. I apologize. I was coughing my lungs up the last couple of days. Much, much better now. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you. If you're interested in the extended, there's a link to it in the description box below. Okay. It's a weird cut, but okay. Be reborn daily, number 46. I reduced it all the way down to a one. Let go of the past and breathe in your new incarnation. Ooh, we're doing new, new. New, new, new. Okay, cool. Attune to the call. Another 10 goes back down to a one. Big beginning. Okay, tune in and turn on. This is very much a walking by intuition, not by sight kind of thing. Notice I didn't say by faith. Um, we're starting new and we're going big. All right. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Whoop. Okay. Seven of Cups there underneath, and it looks like the world is your oyster, my friend. Wheel of Fortune, nice. Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Look at you showing up as you. That is Aquarius Energy, King of Swords. Nine of Swords, ooh. The Game Changer Connection. I'm reading This Is You, This Is Them. This is the situation, the game-changing connection. Look at you. <gasps> hey, now. Hey, now. You're so focused on the thing that you're doing that you don't necessarily fully see them. You don't miss them entirely, though. You don't miss them entirely, though. You seem to be focused on something else. You could quite simply be focused on your coin. Right. Four four of coins isn't just like withholding or anything like that. It's also good business decisions. Okay. Someone is dynamically moving forward when it comes to their coin, whatever that means for you. Um, so you're super focused. Super focused on that. Them though. You 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 you've left a sleepless nights effect on this person. They see you clearly. They know you're a match. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, that's right up your alley, my friend. Right up your alley. So show me what the change is in the situation, this good fortune with the Wheel of Fortune, please. Fool. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ah, Okay. You make it, okay, got it. You make it known that your priorities are, is whatever your pentacles, your coin that you're working on, you're making it known that that's your priority and everything else needs to move at a slower pace. That there's willingness to take the risk to start something new, but you're, you're not moving like the chariot, which is like one of the fastest cards in the deck. Okay. Um, you've already gone through enough change in your physical world. You really don't feel the need to go through any more just right this second. But to chisel away at it, okay. Okay. All right. Show me the Four of Pentacles for Aquarius. Yeah, you're putting some serious work in. Serious work in. Okay. King of Pentacles there underneath. Okay, so as you're chiseling away at your pentacles, this is this is some serious work. Seven of pentacles, ten, ten of wands. You're doing some sort of heavy lifting, hard work, 
Okay. Um, as rapport builds between the two of you. Okay. So even though you're saying we need to go at a slower pace because my whole focus is my pentacles and this is the second most important thing, I'm not saying it like that, but you know what I mean. But allowing this to still grow slower, a little bit slower than your main focus, the tower does hit, the breakthrough does hit in the level of rapport that's built that makes you pay full attention to this as well. Scorpio energy there with the tower. So you start to see that there is equal importance, a.k.a. a shift in priorities or a rebalancing. Show me the eight of wands, please. Two of cups, six of swords. Ten of pentacles, eight of cups. The closer you get to your long-term stability, the closer you get to falling in love. You're starting to see how this is the person to build a ten of pentacles with long term stability. You're you're seeing where that love can fold into that too. That's good. I'm glad that this is I'm glad this tower hit. This is a this is what you call a good tower. It's a good tower. A lot of people freak out when they see the tower. There is such thing as a good tower. It's a breakdown, break up, breakthrough, or surprise. <laughs> Show me the King of Swords for Aquarius, please. The King of Swords. King of Wands, Leo Energy. Ten of Swords, Hierophant. There it is, Chariot, Taurus, Cancer Energy, for those of you keeping track. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Cancer, Ten of Swords right in between. So this is what happens, boo boo. You're not. You're not doing life alone anymore. It's going to start moving faster than you think. The determ the singular determination is is gone now. Okay, you're doing you're doing committed movement forward, and you're going to see how that's a game changer when it's the two of you working towards the same goals, moving forward together. You go further. Okay. You do. You go further. When you are aligned in your goals, you go further together. Okay. Okay. Let's get into this person and see where we're going. Show me the page of cups, please. They're so excited about you. They don't even know what to do. Mm hmm. So they find out that you went through some stuff. They're, they're bummed that you went through some stuff that has made you sad or has made you hurt, has made you focus on other things and not necessarily takes focus away from them but kind of has made you kind of turn away from other things because they're noting that's a little bit more of a challenge to get your attention, at least in the beginning. Once that tower hits, that, that then it's not so much work. Um, hmm. Because they see you doing better than you may think is how it's coming across. So when they meet you, they're excited to see you. They're excited to meet you. They're so excited they kind of don't know what to do with themselves. Show me about the Eight of Coins specifically, please. There's some sort of abundance game changer that makes you hard to approach. I don't know if you become instantly wealthy, if you <laughs> win the lottery or something, get a huge promotion or something like that, but there's some sort of Fortune winner, fortune changer, pentacles, pentacles. Well, because Queen of Coins next to the tower, she symbolizes home a lot of the time, and a lot of the time the tower can be moving. So if you're moving into something better, okay. Um, and there, if there's some sort of taboo in place, if you're a Queen of Pentacles and they're a Knight of Pentacles, like age gap, for example, 
some sort of taboo, it could make it harder for them to approach you. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to. Mm -mm, it doesn't mean that they're not going to. Show me the Queen of Swords, please. Four of Wands, Three of Cups, Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles again. Taurus energy, Six of Pentacles there on the bottom. If there's like, um, it's getting specific. If there's some sort of social gathering event, okay, um, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, the game changes. Once they find out you don't have a spouse. So if it's an event, for someone it's a housewarming party. Um, they're trying to find out if you have, if this, if you're the feminine, this is the masculine because King, King of Coins Emperor, they're trying to find out if you have a husband. Okay. And then they're trying to manifest themselves into that role. Okay. Magician Emperor world. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. It's kind of adorable. Can you show me more about the event itself? The Four of Wands, Three of Cups. They have a self-conscious moment of if the, they, they can actually offer you anything. They pick up on something. Okay. They pick up on something. Some sort of common interest. Okay. They pick up on a common interest and they use that to further rapport with you. Okay. They watch closely until they find it. All right. Show me the nine of swords, please. Six of wands, tower. High Priestess, card of Pisces. Five of Cups, Hierophant, card of Taurus. He's getting really caught up on if this is or isn't going to fly. Real caught up. See, yours is a good tower. His not so much. If you're moving into the neighborhood, he's really nervous about, like, Hi, I'm your neighbor from across the street. My name's so and so, da da da, kind of thing. Why the Five of Cups again? Oh, you seem a bit detached. Okay, um, so they're 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 a little bit sad that you're not like, hey, oh my God, it's so nice to meet you, da 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 da. You're you're a little bit more like neutral, um. I don't know if they thought that sparks were going to fly when your eyes met and you had to directly acknowledge them. But um, what else about that, please? As they start kind of keeping watch. Oh, there's somewhere along the line, Taurus and Libra with the Empress card. They find out that you actually have a great capacity for love and affection, um, but there's some sort of um, disappointment that happened that made you guard that part of yours with good reason. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. That just because you have these lovely parts of you to your personality doesn't mean that they're available to everyone at their whim instead of your own. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know about what Aquarius is up to before we go into the extended to look into their new person some more? I understand that you're a little bit skeptical of what changes would come forward if you were to let a new masculine in. It's going to go smoother than you think. It's going to go smoother than you think. And it's going to be more balanced than you've had in a while. Libra, Scorpio, Aries energy for those of you keeping track. Okay. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this person and their current energy. 
near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.